What is going on guys? My name is Tubby Emu. Welcome to another WWE 12 commentary. Make sure to hit the like button. Let's get back to Pound Town guys. It really does help me out. And in this one you're seeing Justin Gabriel and undashing Cody Rhodes. You know, not the same one we see now in WWE programming. But it brings up a question for myself that makes you wonder who is Cody Rhodes' next challenger. For a while it seemed like Ted DiBiase was being built up to challenge him. That didn't go anywhere. And then Booker T was a challenger for Cody Rhodes. Now, I like what they did with Cody Rhodes and Booker T. And, you know, people thought that feud would happen. It did. And now it's over, and I like the fact they've just let it settle. But it makes you wonder, what is the WWE going to do next for Cody Rhodes? If you look at who is next to possibly challenge for the Intercontinental Championship, there's really not that many people that could, you know, potentially take his spot. Um... On SmackDown, when they Cody Rhodes got to pick his opponent, and he was like, first Ezekiel Jackson, uh, he's a possible contender. You have Santino, who appears on SmackDown as the Ross, the SmackDown assistant GM, and then you have Hornswoggle, which never will hold that title. And then you got guys like Justin Gabriel, Heath Slater, you know, characters like that, Jinder Mahal. And it, it makes me wonder. And I was thinking, you know, when Justin Gabriel has been coming to the rescue of Hornswoggle, whether or not he's just coming to the regular of Hornswoggle, or the WWE is trying to build him up and get a pop for him. You know, when Cody Rhodes was beating up Hornswoggle and Justin Gabriel's music dropped, he did get somewhat of a pop. It's not like a a huge uh, hero pop that you normally see in the WWE. But overall, it was a pretty good pump, I thought, where they could potentially build Justin Gabriel up, Gabriel, Gabriel up to be a popular superstar. And I like Justin Gabriel. You know, he's from South Africa. I like his accent. I always love the South African accent. And I think he's got potential to potentially be a challenger for the title in the future. But I still liked him better as a tag team contender with Heath Slater. I don't know what it was about it. I feel like he was a lot better off as a tag team. You know, maybe they'll pair him up with, like, Kofi Kingston, because um, the, the WWE is seriously trying to build tag team contenders. You got Hunico and Camacho. You know, whether or not they're going to put those two together, and maybe they're going to take on Primo and Epico, whether or not they just want to stay in singles competition, it all depends on what the WWE... I can't even say the WWE today. What the WWE wants to do with tag teams and, you know, where they want to go with the mid-card titles. Now, there was some speculation of possibly combining the titles, and I'm a little skeptical on that because it's awesome would it be, you know, just to put everybody on the same show and whatnot. You Then you would have only three titles instead of six. And, wait, no, five. Five titles, my bad. And I just, I think that takes away two titles, and it's, it's not as exciting. Um... It give you more competition and you know fill the shows with all the injuries that are going on in the WWE, but that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is who is going to challenge for Cody Rhodes' title, and I feel like they're either building up Justin Gabriel, or you know you don't see guys like Keith Slater winning. You don't see guys like Justin Gabriel winning very often. So what are they doing with them? You know they're really not doing anything with them. And other than you know those two guys, I think Hunico or possibly. Ted DiBiase could be a challenger for Cody Rhodes' title, but for right now, in the near future, it does look like Cody Rhodes is going to keep his title, and he's going on a pretty lengthy reign. I think he's had it about four or five months now, maybe a little bit longer, a little bit less. I can't exactly remember when he won it. He won it from Big Zeke, but um, guys, let me know what you think about Cody Rhodes. Who do you think is going to challenge him? I don't see anybody else other than, you know, right now, there really isn't anybody of name that could really take on Cody Rhodes. And that's kind of sad to say because, you know, normally you see challengers, you know, for the title. Now Jack Swagger's got the title. And you see matches, but Cody Rhodes really hasn't had any of those matches because Booker T's kind of filled that slot. And nobody really thought Booker T was going to win. So, guys, who do you think is going to face Cody Rhodes and potentially be the next Intercontinental Champion, guys? Make sure to hit a like on the video, guys. Tubby Emu, Tubby out.